Uh, you know, after the game, this is just such an emotional day. Uh, when uh, you play your last game for Cornell, for our senior class, you know, I remember mine in, in 2004. You know, you, you come to this school to be part of Cornell football, and, and it's uh, very demanding to play college football. And, and those guys, 26 of them, and then three and off the field roles of 29 people that have really hung with the program through tough times and, uh, you know, disappointed with today's score. Uh, to the Durham Ivy championship caliber team. Um, but just to talk about those kids for a second, uh, the growth that they've pushed this program through, um, you know, I feel very, very similar. My, my junior year, we went one and nine, and, and then we were able to go four and six my senior year, and then the next year they went six and four, and, uh, you know, I thought thought things were turned around for Cornell, but, but they weren't. Um, and I really feel like this time the, uh, the foundation is built on incredibly solid ground and I think these guys have pushed us to a competitive level um, you know we certainly were competitive in seven games the four that we won and then Sacred Heart to the last possession Brown to double overtime and, and Dartmouth into the fourth quarter uh, this game uh, I really thought uh, we were competitive up until the end we just can't uh, overcome some of the uh, uh, things that you that you have to overcome uh, to be able to beat a championship caliber team so uh, really, really proud. You picked the right two guys, Hardigan. Uh, really, really proud of uh, these two especially uh, for everything they've done uh, for this program uh, to, to help continue to, to really significantly push us forward. You know, I, I often talk uh, about Cornell football, big surprise. Uh, I have to talk about Cornell football and I, I say it's really not a rebuilding effort, it's actually a building effort. You know, we have a very uh, proud tradition, it's just not a very uh, winning one. And these guys have, have pushed us to where uh, we're com a competitive football uh, team right now, a competitive football program. And that's not easy. You got to be the true believer, uh, and you got to put in so much extra work uh, to go from not competitive to competitive. And I just uh, I'm really proud of the, the senior class. And then what it does is to the underclassmen, you know, they say, hey, four and six is never you know good enough for us anymore. So just keep pushing it forward. So. Disappointed by today's game, but really, really uh, proud of these kids. You come in to a place like Cornell, and you want to win a lot of football games. You want to win Ivy League championships. But uh, above, above that, you just want to leave the place better than you found it. So being able to, to come out here and win four games this year after, after two one and nine years is something we're very proud of. Obviously, we would have liked to win a few more, but like the, the classes that came before us, we've been laying the bricks. This place is going to continue to build, continue to get better, bringing in great players. I'm excited to see what these other classes are going to have to do in the years to come. Go yeah, ahead. no, that was, that was fun. Um, why not pull out all your tricks in the last game? You know what I mean? We've had that in our back pocket for a while, and it worked out that we were getting the coverage that we wanted and figured, you know, why not make something happen? I can't take credit for the second one, though. Jay just made an unbelievable yeah. catch. So that, was, that was completely him on that one. So, um, uh, but yeah, it was it was fun. You know, you like to go out there and try to make something happen, and luckily we were able to. Feels surreal. It started to hit me that my career was winding down, and the second half of the Princeton game, I had what three or four games left at that point. It's it's something that you know is coming, but you can't necessarily prepare for. It just hits you, and and the emotions start start flooding the system. The tears start to roll down your face. And we've put a lot of hard work, a lot of blood, a lot of sweat into this program. So it's, it's a tough day, but you know it's coming. And it's got to hope that you can make the most of it and not look back on your four years with any regrets. Yeah, to add to that, I'm not sure words can really describe it. You know, we, I was lucky enough to have my family out. I know Jackson was as well, most of those guys. You know, this is so much more than just 10 football games. Uh, you know, Coach Archer talks about it and he talked about it when he came and recruited me, but this is really a family. And to have to say uh, see you later to some of your family members, I mean, it's tough. And I got all my tears out trying to, <laughs> trying to hold me back. But um, it, it, it is. It's, it's more than football. And <clears throat> you build bonds with guys and coaches that are, are really like a family. And uh, it hasn't hit me quite yet. It's hit, hit me a little bit. I'm not looking forward to hit, hitting me all the way. But, um, you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough to say goodbye to some of these guys.